Hey YouTube, welcome to my projector retrofit project for my 100 series Land Cruiser. I have a 1999 Toyota Land Cruiser and I needed some headlight improvements because the halogen bulbs were just pretty weak. Now this is a wiring harness kit that I purchased from a user on the I Hate Mud forums. The kit was really great quality and um, you know I would definitely purchase again from this user. So I purchased all my components from the retrofit source. They seem like one of the golden standard places to purchase all the equipment for HID retrofits. And you know, I'm pretty pleased with the quality of the parts that I'd received. One thing I'd recommend would be to go ahead and purchase when there's a sale, because you could definitely save a lot of money during those sales that they have. So I decided to go with the Micro D2S 5.0 by Xenon kit, and it fits specifically for my application. I am preparing to put this thing in the oven. Now I've already removed some of these dust caps here, these rubber boots, and these little plastic covers that came with the depot headlights. Now I'm going to be removing these three screws and these three screws, and removing this plastic piece here because we're just going to go ahead and trim all of this off. Um, and then eventually we'll be removing these plastic clips here that go all around the perimeter of the glass housing. And then we'll be ready to go in the oven. This looks like plastic. The actual reflector part is plastic, so we can probably just sand that down with a, some type of sanding pad or some type of Dremel or a cutoff tool. Um, I don't believe that we have to reuse these threads because the projector itself has a single fat thread that's about, um, I think it's about an inch and a half or a little bit more in diameter. So that's what um, we'll be trying to accommodate here. So that's six clips around the perimeter. Now it looks like I've got everything around the perimeter taken care of. I don't see any more clips, so it looks like I'm ready to bake in the oven. Ooh, look at that. I don't want to get any of this adhesive in the reflector part, so I want to try and pull it out as soon as possible. We are kind of letting gravity help out here. So there we go, that was a much easier separation than the first one. And look at that, beautiful reflector housing. And then now we gotta take out this reflector shroud thing, a jig here. So what I'm doing is there's these two tabs that have been bent um, to secure that shroud in place, this reflector shroud for the low beam. We need to get rid of that because that's where the projector is gonna go. So I'm trying to Remove this little tab here, and then pull the pull that reflector shroud out. I got one tab out. There it is. Now we can throw this away because we're going to be using some HID projectors. All right. So what we got to do is we need to bore out that hole where the low beam bulb went, and make the D2S micro projector fit in there. So that'll be the next task. So this washer that you're seeing here comes with your projector kit. And I use this as a reference because everything that goes inside of that circle in the inner diameter basically has to be removed from your projector housing. That's where the threaded portion on the back of the projector bolt needs to enter the housing so that you can fasten it to the rest of the housing. So at this point, I use a red sharpie to mark everything on the housing that needs to be removed. So all this material will need to be dremeled out of the way. All right, so this is the dremel cutoff wheel. It 
that's the easy lock version and this was definitely one of the best tools to just kind of get the job done and remove material and get down closer to the final thickness that I needed. So this next tool that I purchased is a 2 inch surface conditioning kit and I purchased it on Amazon and it really gives a nice flat surface for the washer that comes with the projector to sit on so it gives you a nice flat surface when you're done grinding away. So here's another view of me marking the material that needs to get removed from the projector. I use that washer again to make sure that I'm not taking off too much material because I don't want the housing to crack. Now the next tool that I use is a rotary sanding drum. It's important to have a couple of these on hand as the ones that I had initially used were used on other projects so they were worn down a bit. Now if you take a look at the slot below the hole that you just bored out, that's where you're going to want to insert the power cables for the projector. It's probably best to remove those silicone boots for the connector plug and then you can fit the entire wire through. Now this is the part that you see through the glass lens. You're going to want to go ahead and install your projector onto your projector housing and then figure out how much clearance you're going to need here. So this is kind of a half moon shape and you could see the areas that I need to remove. Now this next clip is basically me assembling pretty much everything. I start with the wiring harness feeding that through the slot and the low beam and then go ahead and install the projector itself along with the rubber gasket and then I use the locking ring and the washer to secure everything to the headlight housing itself. Alright so at this point I remember I was feeling totally confident this is the morning after getting everything pretty much settled and getting ready for final assembly here. We're getting ready to put everything back into the oven and you can just take a look at the close clearance here between the projector itself and the headlight shroud. All right, so this is the retro rubber that we're using as a sealant between the glass lens and the rest of the housing. Now, this is really fun material to play with. You basically kind of stretch it out a little bit and I tried to make it one continuous piece around the entire perimeter of the headlight housing. It was really fun to play with again and I definitely have some leftovers so I could probably do another project or two. Alright, this is it. We're almost done. Put the lens back on, pop it in the oven, put the clips back on, and welcome to 2021.